South Carolina's lawmakers took the first steps today to remove the Confederate flag from state grounds. The decision came after nine black worshipers were killed in Emanuel AME Church in Charleston. Today, a group of church leaders led a public rally urging the state to take down the flag. Lawmakers say the issue will be voted on once a budget is passed later on this summer. On the business side, stores like Walmart, Sears and eBay are pulling Confederate flag merchandise from their stores. The Charleston massacre and the battle over the Confederate flag have stirred up a major conversation in Minneapolis. A new petition is asking that the name of Lake Calhoun be changed. The lake is named after John C. Calhoun, a former War Department secretary who helped bring Fort Snelling to Amer Minnesota. He's also known for supporting slavery. Now, this monument with his name was recently desecrated in Charleston. And here there is also dissension about his namesake, Lake. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield joins us now from Lake Calhoun. Hi, Susan Elizabeth. Hi, Amelia. Well, as you know, as everyone knows, this lake, this park, it's usually known as a place for relaxation, where people come to escape the worries of the world. But right now, Lake Calhoun is a source of tension. Whether it's a winter dip or a summer sweat, 365 days a year, it's a place for enjoyment. But there's more to the name than some realize. I do not know, but I'm sure it's a very important person. Eh? We told this beachgoer about the history. The lake is named after a 19th century politician who fought to protect the institution of slavery. I would definitely would be in favor of changing the name. And so we've seen a re-energized re effort to, to submit a petition to strike the name Calhoun from uh, Lake Calhoun. Political science professor Larry Jacobs says the events in South Carolina have brought the issue to a forefront here. The local NAACP president says she's been waiting. I'm appalled that Lake Calhoun would be named after someone who supported the institution of slavery. I'm a descendant of slaves. I still see the effects of the impacts of slavery. Along with a list of people who joined this online petition, Nakima Levy Pounds is hoping change will happen. Despite the push, though, that could be complicated. You know, I think in the state of Minnesota, most people would be uh, supportive of getting rid of the name Calhoun. The problem is legality and how you would do it in this very convoluted process. State law would have to be rewritten and voted upon. Then approval would still be needed on a federal level from the U.S. Geographic Board. I think the issue Jacob here says is it not. would be a long road ahead, but right now the wheels are in motion. Now, Jacob says another hurdle here is there's a lot of momentum right now. And if this went to the legislature, it wouldn't be until next January. And he's afraid they can lose some of that right there. And something else to remember, there are other things that bear the name of Calhoun, the parkway, the square, certainly opening up a whole discussion. Yes, it certainly are. All right, Susan Elizabeth, thank you.